Here is Sebastian Wolf and Matthias Lutz. That was the big applause. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you so much, Chris. Okay. Welcome. So I'm missing my colleague Matthias uh, because I'm not doing this presentation alone. Matthias, are you somewhere nearby? It's the second time today and he's not showing up. Matthias? Sebastian, I'm so sorry. Hi, hi. Good morning. Oh, good afternoon. Good morning. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good so, <laughs> a little confused. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so what went wrong? So where have you been? Sebastian, it's amazing, you know. I'm here at the booth now for the second day and I learn each and every hour about a new asset which has to be connected to the Internet of Things. Okay. Like, I didn't know um, what things actually can be connected. Crazy. Okay, so, and uh, what made you delay? Yeah, I had a very interesting discussion with a Chinese brewery. Uh, do you like Chinese beer? You ever had one? Well, I think we Germans have quite good beer. I tried a Chinese beer too long time ago, but, uh, yeah, what has this to do with IoT and <laughs> why brewery? Yeah, this guy has a very good running business, you know. He open, he's opening up new breweries every, let's say, year in China. And he said, hey, can I connect my entire brewery from the filling line to the logistic, to the uh, pipeline system, to an IoT platform? Because I have data and I see a value in it. Okay, hold on. Um, last year, when we were here at Hannover Fair, we introduced MindSphere and it was about machine tools and drives and yeah. small elements. So what has changed over the last year? A lot of things have changed in just one year, in just one year. Over 50% of the data ever generated in the world was generated last year. And, very interesting fact, 50% of the data was generated last year, but only 0.5% were actually used. Okay, so we're generating a lot of data, but we're not using it. Um, does this really make sense? I mean, we're talking about digitalization here at the booth. We're talking about connected assets. So I learned yesterday that just the day of yesterday, 5.5 million devices were connected yes. to the IoT. This is crazy. So it's 2.30 now, and a couple of million devices were connected today to the IoT. A couple of million devices. And the data is not used at all. I think it's... a uh, waste in potential, you know? No, I guess this is a tremendous waste of potential. Yeah. I mean, there is so much in it. So we're talking about this topic for quite some time now, but why is it so important, Matthias? Digitalization is changing everything. It is changing our private lives and it is changing the life, the business of the industries around here. So it is there. And within one year, you mentioned it before, Sebastian, a lot of things happened. So everybody is beginning to connect, to use data. Okay. So you can find it basically all over the booth. I have seen that. I mean, when I was here last year, it was less digital. It becomes more and more and more. But how do we cope and how do we tackle the challenges that IoT and digitalization brings with us? Yeah. Our part in here is providing you with MindSphere, the open IoT operating systems for the things that run the world, like breweries, like cruise ships, like... Hospitals. I th yeah, like I heard planes. Chris talking about hospitals. Yeah, crazy. So all the things that are in the world delivering data, we are connecting them, right? Yeah. We can connect them right okay. now. So connectivity is, a, I think, a very important element of the whole digitalization strategy. Matthias, Maybe you want to share some insights about connectivity and why we believe that our connectivity solution is the right yep. to work with. So the last years, um, many uh, of our interested customers were asking me, yeah, I really get the value out of data, but my greatest challenge as an industrial company is collecting the data. And there we can offer a whole suite of connectivity to connect your assets, your machines to MindSphere. We start here with one very nice little box called the MindConnect Nano Industrial Box PC pre-configured IoT gateway. You can just unpack. You also can see it on YouTube, a nice unpacking video. You plug it into your machine, you plug it into the platform, and you can start to use data. But much more than this, here all over the Siemens booth, you see 
more and more devices from Siemens, like drives, like charging stations here, which can be connected right out of the box to MindSphere. So I guess the audience is now interested in how complicated is this? Because connectivity of industrial machines sounds to me very sophisticated. Is it really that, that difficult? <laughs> no, absolutely not. So we are managing to connect a machine and to configure a first data model within 30 minutes, within 30 minutes. It, it's not a matter of day, it's a matter of minutes. So that sounds like plug and play. Uh -huh. It is plug and play, a plug and play connectivity to an IoT platform. Okay, Matthias, but you were talking mm -hmm. about IoT operating system, but you also mentioned open. So you, you were talking about connectivity of Siemens products, and yes, I believe we do that, and we do it good, but how does this reflect an openness? I mean, is there anything else that we can connect? Yeah, and I really like, you know, this philosophy of openness. So I was just walking around here uh, to have a lunch, and I came over this little booth of a company called Blue Vision. Okay. And they're little sensors, you know, Bluetooth sensors, measuring temperature, vibration, stuff like that. And there was written on the booth, connected to MindSphere. And I said, yeah, here, we have a connectivity device connected to MindSphere. And how did they do this? We are providing a so-called MindConnect library. I always explain it as a toolbox of software pieces, which a connectivity provider, hardware developer can use to build a MindSphere connectivity into his devices. So complete open. And much more than that, going back to my Chinese brewery, uh, he has very old, in some parts, um, legacy systems, like old Siemens drives, old Siemens Simatic uh, PLCs, third-party um, hardware. And this brewery can now use our connectivity library, maybe with the help of a partner, to connect each and every device to the platform. Okay, that sounds really amazing. So let me just sum this up. So we can connect our machines, there's connectivity in our products, but there's also connectivity for third parties, and basically everyone who wants to use data from their assets can do this in MindSphere easily. Yeah. That's Easy, very cool. plug and play from every device. So. Now, that the data is in MindSphere, what happens with the data? I mean, it's good to have it, <coughs> but I guess there is more in it. Yeah, of course. So it's not only about collecting data. It's not only about storing data, processing data. The value, like on your smartphone, comes out of applications, of applications and expert know-how. Let's say, which is in this application developed. Okay, applications. So I know applications from my smartphone, and I have hundreds of them, and I'm using them more or less every day, kind of addicted to that. So how, how is this then working in an industry? I mean, what is an application for a brewery? Yeah, so everything in the Internet of Things starts, in my opinion, with the management of a fleet. When we talk about fleets, we talk about connected things. In this case, filling lines connected in breweries distributed all over China. So therefore, we have come up with a MindSphere standard application called MindApp Fleet Manager. The Fleet Manager allows you to configure your data model, as mentioned before. It allows you to view all your connected assets on a map, and it allows you to put your assets in a hierarchical structure and to offer a interaction between you as a service provider and others which use your service based on machine data. Fleet Manager is a standard app you can see, you can touch at our MindSphere booth here. Okay, so that, is, that sounds already quite cool, but uh, I mean, where's the value of seeing fleets? Okay, fine, but I think, I mean, if I know my applications, I can order a pizza and pay it with just one click. How is this going to work with a machine? For me, IoT is about digital services. Offering a digital service based on your asset, based on your machine, or based on your production line. So an app developer, and Sebastian, by the way, you can also be a Mindsphere app developer. Me? Yeah, of course, you. So let's do a bit of training. Maybe you can do it, let's say, on the weekend after the Hanover Fair and then you can start to develop a MindSphere app. So you could develop, let's say, the beer factory condition monitoring app 
and bring it into MindSphere, and you could distribute it to a very large audience of connected machines within MindSphere. So, but now I'm an employee of Siemens, so this sounds not open again. Yeah. So, is this the same as with the connectivity, so everyone can develop applications? Yeah, everyone. It's not only about big IT companies which can develop an application for MindSphere. We are specifically addressing as well, for example, small startups. Up there in the MindSphere Lounge, you see the MindSphere Startup uh, program where we are engaging with small startups which are having a specific know-how, for example, in certain industries, for certain applications, and they start right now to develop apps for MindSphere. Have you seen our app store over there? Yeah, I've been there. We have uh, roughly 50 applications, and yeah. I heard there's hundreds of more applications just in the pipeline, so they will be in the market very soon. Yeah. That's stunning. And you see Siemens applications. What I like as well, for example, um, our experts from the pulp and paper industry, they came up with their own app for the pulp and paper industry called Sea Paper. Great. Okay, Matthias, that's, I, I really like it. And I really like the idea of startups and, uh, startups. and I know that our friends from the startup team will also come here on stage in a minute and talk about how startups can participate in the ecosystem. So we would like to come to an end and just give you the advice. You need to see what we have here for you, right? Go meet our friends at our booth. We have the connectivity uh, suite at our booth where, as Matthias rightly said, you can easily connect your devices. We have the applications and we have hundreds of experts in our MindSphere Lounge. So if you haven't been there yet, it's worthwhile going there. We have great stuff, not only from Siemens, but a lot of experts and a lot of people from the digitalization and IoT space, our partners that can help you to transform your business into digital. And Matthias, thank you for your participation here on stage. And next time, be on time. Uh, I have to run. I'm meeting a guy who wants to connect a cruise ship to MindSphere. OK. And thank you for bye your bye. participation. Thank you so much. <coughs> Suck or not?